Well, thanks once again for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. I'm joined in studio by somebody who truly, truly gives back to the community in many, many ways. Elliot Middleton, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I am so happy that you were on the show today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what you do and why? Well, um, pretty much um, my name is Elliot Middleton. I'm from a small fishing village called McClennesville, South Carolina. And uh, what my organization does, which is the name of that is Middleton's Village to Village Foundation. We go around, we collect cars mm -hmm. and we fix them up and we donate them to folks in need, um, particularly in rural unpopulated areas that does not have like uh, Ubers, taxis, uh, ways to get around. Um, we help folks out like that and um, just try to make sure that if somebody is in need, we try to help them out as best we can. And on top of that, you also have a restaurant. Have a barbecue restaurant. Um, we're gonna reopen on January the 19th. Um, it's located in uh, Owendaw, South Carolina. That's 5105 US Highway 17 in Owendaw. And um, we also started our mobile food truck uh, venture. And uh, that you may see all around the low country in probably about five different counties so far. I know, that, I know you're going to say that it feels awesome, but how does it feel whenever you're actually able to donate a car, see that reaction? What, what is that like? Well, the experience with that is uh, the first one, you know, it blew you away and you're kind of like, you know, I like that feeling. So now you want to have, you want to do it again. Mm -hmm. and you want to do it again. So it's more of a, it's very addictive. And it's not, you know, just from the, you know, the excitement, the surprise from them. Um, you always want to be in, like, it's just addictive. You always want to, you want more cars so you can bless more people. Yeah. yeah. And why food? Why barbecue? Is this something you've always loved? Um, it's just living out in the rural areas like mm -hmm. as a young man you had to be around your great grandparents or your grandparents always cooking so yeah. you always learn you know how to cook you've learned how to um uh, cook different things you harvest different things out of the fields so it's always um it's just always been a love of mine and from besides mechanics it's always been cooking so yeah. um second part of my life i wanted to venture off into food and beverage and you know enjoy doing that and wanted to still remain working on cars. You know, it's a weird combination, but it works. It's the best of both worlds, you yeah. know? Yes, ma'am. So tell me, what's in the works for 2024? So <clears throat> right now, like I said, we just got through uh, with our 100th car donation. Mm -hmm. um, we are in the need of more vehicles because, you know, we get a lot of vehicles and most of the vehicles, they are not, you know, up to par as far as getting back on the road. Mm -hmm. So we have to uh, take like maybe say like seven vehicles and then we may use those seven vehicles to part out one to make another one work so you may get mm -hmm. two or three cars out of those seven vehicles so we're always hunting for cars um, we're always looking for donations for cars yeah. just being able to uh, get around and actually seeing the different situations in rural unpopular you know small areas um, food brings everybody together and good things bring everybody together so that's trying to do the best of both worlds. You took the words right out of my mouth, man. Yes, I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> All right, where can people stop by and give it a try again? 5105 U.S. Highway 17 in Owendaw, South Carolina. Um, uh, telephone number that you can uh, call us at, and um, I'll answer that phone as best I can whenever I can. 843-928-4RIB. That's 4742. And you'll be able to contact us there all throughout the week. We specialize mainly in a lot of catering, and carry out on this go round of the restaurant. So it's kind of like a carry out restaurant. It gives you more of a Pizza Hut vibe um, to where you can come in, you can order, or you can do a delivery. Um, we're looking, working hopefully with three vehicles that we can always be out in the commute area. And also being that the fact that we're in a rural area, I'm offering deliveries to that rural area because I mean, you got kids that live there, they'll never get a chance to experience the pizza man coming to the door. Mm -hmm. But you'll be able to hopefully get an opportunity to experience the barbecue man coming to the door. So. That's, a, that's one of the outlooks that I want to do for the, for the rural area. 